Hi, and welcome to a quick video, not really an education video, but there might be something here for folks to learn. Uh, this is to help people in early 2020 figure out what they need to do as far as Business Career College is concerned and uh, tax receipts. There was a little change, a big change from my perspective, but for most people, a little change that came down from CRA in 2019 that causes a problem here. Uh, the disclaimer, of course, this is just general knowledge. I'm not giving specific tax advice here. Uh, you should be getting professional tax advice from a CPA who does personal income tax work. Uh, the summary, this might save a bunch of you watching what follows. So the summary here is most people do not need a tuition tax receipt. Uh, most people are going to be better off just using the receipt that was emailed when they enrolled in whatever courses they took with us, uh, you can ask your tax advisor exactly what your situation is. If you wanna watch the rest of the video, now go ahead, but probably 98 or maybe 99% of Business Career College students are better off with the receipt that they were emailed than the uh, formal T2202 uh, tuition tax receipt. Uh, we're going to look at CRA's administrative position here, BCC's position. We'll look at what happens if you claim a tuition tax credit versus a business expense, who needs a tuition tax credit, and then if you have to provide your social insurance number to us to get that uh, tuition tax credit. CRA's administrative position is uh, at this document, RC4654. The change here showed up in budget 2018 and it wasn't actually in the budget. It was an administrative position that was released afterwards that elaborated on a point in the budget that requires uh, education institutions or what's called a designated education institution to gather social insurance numbers in order to provide a T2202, replacing the old T2202A. Uh, there was no notice provided uh, short of if you happen to scour the CRA website uh, to these designated education institutions about this. Uh, so that's where we didn't deal with this properly uh, from January 1st, 2019 to December 31st of 2019 and leaves us now having to figure out how to address this and I'll talk about that in a moment. So we do not want to collect and store social insurance numbers. I never want to be in this business. We don't keep credit card numbers on file. And I would suggest a credit card number is uh, of lower sensitivity than a social insurance number. Uh, it creates risk for us in the form of liability. And of course, it exposes the student to potential identity theft. So we have no desire to keep this information in accordance with uh, most privacy legislation. We really try to keep information we gather to a minimum about any student we deal with. I have written a letter to the Minister of National Revenue, but there's no way that's going to resolve this in time for you to be prepared to do your taxes. Okay, if you want to claim a tuition tax credit, I have all the numbers on the slide here. I showed BC and Manitoba, just because they're the uh, lowest and highest possible outcomes here. Uh, if you paid $600, just short of $600 for your LLQP, uh, you might save somewhere between $120 and $154 of tax savings with that tuition tax receipt with the T2202 that I had suggested most people would not need. Uh, this is useful for probably somebody who earns a relatively low amount of income from all sources. Um, and it's true as long as you or somebody that you file taxes with uh, earn more than about $12,000 in 2019. Where most people are going to be better off is uh, claiming a business expense. To do this, you only need the receipt that you were originally emailed when you bought a course from us. That's it. Uh, here, you're going to save at your marginal tax rate. If you're a self-employed person and you make more than about $45,000 a year, it doesn't even actually matter if you're self-employed, you can still deduct business expenses. Uh, for the most part, again, consult that professional tax advisor. Uh, but if you make anything more than about $45,000, then you're going to end up uh, better off. I used an $80,000 income earner again here in 
British Columbia and Manitoba, which again are two fairly representative provinces. You can see the savings here is between 160 and 225 dollars versus the 120 to 154 we saw on the last slide. Uh, okay, who needs the tuition tax credit then? This would be a small number of people, like I said, maybe one or two percent of our students. And the idea here is that if you can't deduct business expenses, then you would need the tuition tax credit. Uh, but if you can claim business expenses, then you're better off just using the receipt you've already got. Uh, deduction might not be available. If you took your own LLQP and you'll never do any business in the industry if you paid for it yourself, or if you're an employee who paid for your own LLQP, uh, then you may need the tuition tax receipt. And if you do, then you give us a call. I'll talk about that more in a moment here. And that's only for courses taken in 2019. If you took a course from us earlier than that, then this is irrelevant. You've already done what you can do from a tax perspective. And I would ask that you just check your email to find whatever receipt you already got from us. And uh, that would be helpful before you call the office. It'll save you having to call and it saves staff having to dig around for receipts, which is usually not a big deal, but uh, just most people will have that in their uh, email somewhere already. If you um, are getting a tuition tax receipt, we need your social insurance number and we'll need to keep it on file in accordance with normal Income Tax Act provisions uh, for a period of up to seven years. Uh, you'll have to call us with your social insurance number. Uh, generally, email programs today will not allow you to email a social insurance number. So you'll call the number on the screen here, 877-934-5577. Give your name and social insurance number and a phone number where we can reach you just in case. We'll have your email address on file. Uh, if your email address is on is changed since you enrolled with a course with us for a course, then we'll need your new email address as well. Uh, and we simply won't provide tuition receipts without social insurance numbers as you'll wanna ask yourself this question, whether you want your social insurance number floating around out there, something people should always be aware of with social insurance numbers. Uh, not to say we'll be casual about storing this information, we'll be very careful in how we store it. Uh, still no way to absolutely bulletproof guarantee security here. Okay, again, most people will not need a tuition tax receipt, most are going to be better off with the receipt they got from us when they signed up for the course. Uh, you can obtain professional tax advice if necessary. And if you need to call, you can call us to get your tuition tax receipt. Thanks very much. I hope this was helpful. I know it's a little bit complicated, but I try to keep it to the uh, basics here. Enjoy your uh, year of studying. Thanks so much.